What's cracking YouTube? And here we are for another video update. And uh, what this video is going to be about, it's going to be uh, five days of Letty here breaking down a whole truckload of pallets. We are, uh, if you're new to our channel, we're Target Freight buyers and resellers. What we do is we buy Target by the truckload, we break it down and we resell it, and we give you a wholesaler's view on the... Not wholesaler's view. We just give them a view of how it is. Dang. Like the whole process, yeah. kind of, but not really, because there's still more to it. You guys don't get to see how many times we have to like reorganize and all the time we put in to price each and every single item. And, and if with the little barcode system that we have, if it doesn't come out, we look for it like by ourselves until we eventually find it to make sure that we give our clients uh, a, a good price for half off what it would yeah. normally sell at the store. Yep. But yeah, there's more to it that you guys don't see. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to it, but this is just an idea of, uh, of uh, what it is and how much work there is to put in to get into the truckload. And then at the very end, you guys get to see what comes out. So it's a complete truck unboxing of uh, how many pallets? Uh, it was 24 pallets. 24 pallets this time. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a lot pricier than what we're typical in paying, right? Yes. But it's... And then the thing that, that I mean, it doesn't kind of suck because it is quality merchandise. If you were to see a video of what we got a year from that, a year ago it was nothing but easter cookies tie-dye uh easter baskets we pretty much lost our money there and so this year we were kind of in a way scared um of that happening again but thank god it didn't um but yeah like frank said we are paying way much more but we are getting way much better quality top notch <laughs> so yeah this is a video introduction to that and um uh, yeah we won't we won't do it too long because it's already but yeah check us out this is the video and i uh, hope you guys enjoy it bye good morning guys well good afternoon because it's already like one so here's another video today is monday march 25th we just went to purchase a truck. This is how our shop looks. We're gonna magically disappear everything here. So we could Tetris the rest of the new merchandise in. So we will show you guys once we receive the whole truck load. And then yeah, so you guys could kind of get an idea of what came in this truck. This is half of the truck that was being delivered. Let a walk through. Ow. <laughs> we'll show you guys the other half once it gets here. Guys, the other half of the truck is here. It looks like a mess, guys, but little by little get fixed oh a cool thing that came out so far ps5 we opened it and it looks completely brand new day two guys day two look at the inside of the shop i think we should be done hopefully if not today maybe tomorrow we're gonna start pulling out all the pallets so we could Tetris into the wasp because if not, then it's gonna be even harder. Guys, a little update on some of the cool stuff that we found. We got a CRC box. We got three Apple Watches. They're three different colors, all same series. We got a PlayStation Control. We got a Ninja Coffee Brewer. Um, some toothbrushes. We also got this magic keyboard, completely sealed, factory sealed. We got ink. Ink always does great online. We got a lot of these like uh, USB charge cables. These little kid headphones. 
G the JBL brand. We got two of those. Mm. Let me see. We got some of these. Some Blink Mini camera. Chargers. Another one of these. One of these. A PlayStation control. Ah. Let me see what else. Cool. You don't need watch for baby girl? Uh, battery doorbell plus. Another uh, charging thing. Um, this gaming headset. An Xbox pin controller. And. I still gotta go through this but so far so good i see money money all around day three in the life of a target freight reseller so here we are again we have seven pallets left from yesterday we are trying to break them down before five because that's the time that our pallet guy is gonna come we're hoping to either be done by today or tomorrow because we will be having a friday and saturday sale since it's easter sunday and we want to spend that day with our family and we want our customers to spend that day with their family as well um i will keep you guys updated once i leave at the end of the day today so you guys could kind of get a look and see how much work we've gotten done so far walk right up to the entrance let me turn the light on so i was kind of working yesterday tetrasine and then getting rid of stuff that hasn't sold i'm gonna be donating that to the thrift store and remember guys it's always a work in progress it's a lot a lot of work takes a lot of time but I love doing this good morning guys we're going up the hill to the dump it's just me and my sister because I'm a little scaredy cat to drive but we're gonna go dump some of the trash and then we're gonna go back to the warehouse and reload the second half of the thing and call it a day with the trash good morning guys yesterday I totally forgot to do the video for day four so today is day five, which we're hoping to be done today. Uh, we still have a lot to price, to put away. We're going to take some stuff to donate. We're going to take, take some stuff to the dump again for the second round. This is how the entrance looks. I'm going to be loading some stuff in my car so I could go donate and et cetera, et cetera. We kind of started um, putting out the tables yesterday, but we still got to put out a couple more. And then we got to make all these boxes and all this merchandise here magically disappear. We got a lot of pet stuff. We got about three or four boxes of nothing but pet stuff. Oh, here it is. So all that, we're going to be like doing it for like $2 just so our... Friends and family can give their little pets something for Easter. And then this is so far what we put out on the tables. That's all furniture, furniture, clothes. We got to stop by to Home Depot and get the wrap. So we can wrap all that up. Because the clothes, we won't have it out until next week. And then this is the other side of the wall. Like I said, we still got a lot of work to do. So we're hoping to be done sometime today. Guys, it's a little later today and I don't want to bring the van today. So I am using my car today to load up all the cardboard, the trash that was remaining. We still got to come back and finishing 
I mean, and finish Tetrising and organizing everything. We did a run to our Goodwill that's like right around the corner. So we had to come back and do the rest of the cleaning to be ready for Saturday, so. This was a little video of the whole truck broken out prior to people showing up. Just want to give you guys, we'll show it up. Look at this truck, look at this. So this truck's a lot more nicer than the dud that we got last year from Easter. The our most viral video I think we got is not even viral, huh? Like it's got a few thousand views, but it it, it was about us spending. I think that truck cost us a little bit over ten thousand dollars, and I mean that in the fuse. But we lost a lot of time and we lost a lot of money so we're not dealing with new distributors and man it is just a if the game has changed there's all the stuff on the wall just do this video just so you guys see if you have an idea on what came out on this easter truck this year a lot of good stuff not no consecutives, not a thousand boxes of the same item. We did get a lot of these. Same furniture. These two, these things, those are pricey. So we got a lot of good stuff on this truck. And I'm going to have to do another video of all the other good stuff that came out from home. Great, great, great. So we'll see you guys a little later. Peace. What's cracking, you two? And we're back into the house. Um, this is at the end of the video now. Uh, you guys already saw us break it down. And then here, this is we're at the house just to show you guys a little bit of the high end merchandise that came out. Um, these are some things that my wife sells online. So, like, stuff like that. Right, babe? Yes, like all the Levi's that we get, the nice jackets. Let me show you guys those. Ah. Oh, sorry. I still have a mess. A mess in progress. I have to reorganize this whole room, but it's like Levi jeans. More Levi's. More Levi's. More. And then the really cute, like, bikinis. That they're like $40. I'll sell them online for like a quick $20. It just takes a lot of time. Like, I have to dedicate a day to Liz. And it's just time consuming taking pictures and all that. But it's worth it. It's fast, easy money online. And people are willing to buy it because it's at a at a great deal. 50% off. So, yeah. So, here's some more stuff that came out. We were pretty stoked. We tested out the PlayStation 5. Does not work. But there's no hope. Hope is not all failed because we can still possibly get it repaired. And then we got three iWatches priced at half off at what they sell for at the store. This was 250 bucks. And then here's another one, 375. Retailing that over 700 and something dollars. I'll show some pictures. 750 bucks. But yeah, those are some of the old books. You guys know we love books. Do not lose out money on books, listing books online. So books are always cheddar. But uh, that's it, you guys. And then, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, being a part of the family and uh, joining us for this ride. Uh, 
I guess we can make that announcement now. I don't know if we have before. But uh, I am no longer a full-time reseller. It is now Letty running the show at Cashflow Fan. And let me tell you guys, it is hard. Yeah. I honestly miss him being there, helping me. Not only physically, but mentally, it is very draining. Yes. And uh, like I was just telling Frank, um, at times I just want to give up. Just because I feel like it takes a lot of time. And at times yeah. I do want to have a normal life. And I feel we don't have that because we're like every single day working. Like it's it's really hard. But then I also love that I get to be with my kids 24-7. So I guess it's like a blessing in disguise. Yeah. And, and then it's also it's great for me because I get to work at work and then... When I get off of work, I get to work with my wife still. So it's still like I have, it's um, it's great. You know, it's a great balance to do what you love because it doesn't even feel like work. Um, we love our customers. They come mm -hmm. and support us. Uh, They're love, more like family to Yeah, us. a lot of our customers are, are we, family. We know them on a first name basis. Yes. It's kind of like cheers the bar. You walk in and everyone knows your name um and it's it's cool you know we like that uh and then we're growing as a business and we're seeing that so maybe in the in the future this will be a full time for my wife and i mm -hmm. but you know i went to work uh for for personal reasons you know the maybe we'll talk about that in a different video but yeah you know we're still we're still on and working and we're still we're still running the business and we're still going to bring youtube along for the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. More ups than downs now because we are learning as buyers and we're learning what to look out for. And um, yeah, we're bringing you guys along for it with it. So you guys can watch our old videos, right? When oh, yeah. we were buying, we were buying one or two pallets. So sad. And we're now buying the whole the whole truckload. So hey, who knows? Maybe in maybe in three or four years from now. You're gonna be seeing us buy thirty truckloads at a at a at, at a time, so yeah, hopefully, right? hopefully that's the goal to just get. I mean, not super big, but just so that we could have like a super decent big. lifestyle and not super have to worry big. about paying our bills. I'm cool with that. Yeah, like that's exactly. that's all that's all that I care for. So, thank you guys for joining, and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Peace.